Chasing placements is overrated. Now, I know a lot of you might be like, Ant, what do you mean chasing placements is overrated? Well, I'm here to tell you what I mean. I've been running into a lot of producers, and their only goal is to get a placement, get a placement, get a placement. And that's cool and fine, but what else do you really have planned for your career and yourself as a music producer? Coming from a producer that has a lot of placements, it can go one of two ways career-wise. You can get lit and continue to you know, get placements, or you can catch a couple, then things slow down a little bit, and you know, your next thing you know, you're waiting on an artist to pick your beat so you can make some money or you know, continue doing what you're doing. But if we just sit down as producers and actually focus on ourselves instead of just chasing placements 24 seven, you will actually see your career grow faster than actually chasing placements for years at a time. A lot of people be like, well, and isn't that how you make money as a producer? Not all of the money. When you get a platinum record, yeah, you make a lot of money. I'm not gonna lie, like you can make a couple tens of thousands of dollars depending on the how like the record itself, how many streams it did, did it go multi-platinum, your publishing percentage. You know, even if I make a platinum record, let's say I make a platinum record in 2021 or 2020. In the future, the streaming for the song ends up going down unless you make a lifetime changing song. But other than that, the streaming does go down over the years. So let's say I made a platinum record in 2020. By 2024, bro, it's not going to be doing as well. It's an old song. You know, music comes out every week. So I can't really rely on that unless I keep building them up, which is cool. But for a lot of producers, that isn't how it goes. I personally know some producers that have spent years at a time making certain beats for an artist that they want to get a placement with and they have no placement with the artist and in fact they have wasted years of their career and their life trying to chase a placement instead of worrying about themselves as a musician and worry about themselves as a brand when you sit down and think about where you are in your career will a placement just change your career a random placement or will locking in with yourself trying to better yourself as a musician help you even more. I know some of you guys want to do content creation with music. Some of you guys want to do YouTube and selling beats. Some of you guys have other plans as well with music. If you sit down for a year straight and say, you know what, I'm going to lock in with this and I'm going to still send out beats for placement because we are producers. Of course, we want to get our music to artists and, you know, be on the radio and do this and do that. But if you sit down and just lock in on yourself for a year you'll see how that really can change your career and change the ways you can get into the room with somebody or you know just how people know you i'm going to use kbz as an example because when i was coming up i used to see him around a lot and he was super lit on youtube he was doing tutorials he was doing a lot of different things with the music and eventually he did end up getting uh big songs big placements congrats to him by the way but he was locked in on what he had going on and eventually he did get his opportunity but he was already kind of lit before he got the placements and stuff and people already knew who he was and yeah of course along the way you're gonna have some people talk about you they might call you cringy or they might do this and that but he was doing his motherfucking thing and that's what i'm saying with us you can do something else while chasing placements you don't have to just lock in your whole career on trying to get a song with an artist there are so many things for us to be doing rather than just focusing on that i encourage a lot of us to work with smaller artists anyway because you have more control of the music you have a better feel for the music and you can also drop the music whenever you want you don't have to wait on a label to clear something or do this or do that you can get you can spread the music you can grab a fan base of your own and y'all can make money that way too you can make money off a of stream distro kids spotify y'all can release all the songs and projects you want to rather just chasing the placement internet money did it they were finding those guys and making them lit they weren't just already lit that's why taz and them are geniuses they were finding guys giving them the platform and then after that boom hit records like just sit there and think about that 
I've been dealing with labels for years. I've done songs four years ago, five years ago, three years ago. Some of them I haven't got paid for at all. I haven't got any money from them. My lawyer has been bugging them. My manager has been bugging them. And they still aren't paying. I can count on one hand how many labels have actually paid on time. And when I say paid on time, I mean before the song comes out or the week the song comes out, who has paid me? And that's sad to say, thinking about how many songs I have, how many labels I've worked with. Like, it, it doesn't make sense. They treat us like we're not important to what's going on. And it wasn't like that in the early 2000s, mid 2000s, the 90s, the 80s. It wasn't like that. We were really respected as musicians. And I don't understand why we're being lowballed nowadays. I don't understand why it's such a hassle to get what we want and what we ask for. And I don't understand why it's so hard to get it on time. Why am I going to sit there and, and really just dedicate all my time towards chasing a placement when I could be working on myself as a brand and a musician and turn myself into a, my own boss, gather my artist, create my content, do what I want to do and excel as a musician not just a music producer, a musician. We really have to sit here and look at ourselves as what we are. We are musical geniuses, literally. That's what we are, that's how I look at myself. I look at y'all the same way, and these labels need to start looking at us the same way. Bro, we are on these computers from sun up to sun down. I'm recording a video right now, I am working, bro. I'm putting in work to feed my family i'm putting in work to share my knowledge and my love for the game and it's not being respected so i'm taking matters into my own hands and i'm chasing my goal my dream of what i want to do being a producer who has been platinum before and done all of that like it's cool bro it's it's a blessing you know in a low percentage but like to be honest with you a lot of that stuff just takes really long when you could be working on something and putting time into something on the way to doing it like i don't have to just dedicate my days to just try to send beats to little baby and little dirt and these guys anymore i don't have to do that because i have different avenues of what i'm doing i'm doing producer camps i'm doing mentorships i'm doing youtube i'm doing so many things right now and i'm happy doing it I don't have to be on the billboard charts every week. And I know a lot of successful producers that are not even getting placements. They just have their own thing going on, whether they're super big on YouTube or whether they're doing mentorships or whether they're teaching something like, or whether they got their artist and they're working directly with their artists, dropping EPs and projects. And, and Hey, they, they're eating with their artists. They doing their thing. Like it's just, it's new age. It's 2024. This is what it's about nowadays. It's about doing things different. This isn't the traditional music with Dr. Dre and, and Snoop Dogg and them to where it was real easy for them to get paid and they getting paid a lot of money and all of that stuff. Like, no, nah, it's not. It's 2024 now. This is a new day and age. And we have to adjust with that too. I'm very proud of all the producers that are out there getting placements. This isn't a video talking down on producers who just get placements this isn't that i'm not making a video saying hey everybody just doesn't need to be on albums and projects because that's just crazy i mean i've been on a couple projects this year as well i'm literally just telling you guys to focus in on what you want to focus in on and to open your mind and really see that there are 50 different things that you can do in music to make you successful and generate money now speaking of money i'm going to say that if you joined music and became a producer to get to a quick dollar man you need to you need to just go ahead and stop making music because that's not what this is about this is a real passion thing a love thing i love making music because it brings out the creativity in me that i never knew i had and if you in here for a quick buck, you're wrong. Because, I mean, especially nowadays, they they not paying on time. Music is a slow grind. This isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. If you want to make a quick dollar, go drive Uber. Go get you a 9 to 5. Uh, go deliver food. Go move uh, boxes and stuff for people when they moving out their cribs, bro. This ain't the job to be trying to make a quick buck out of. 
a lot of us work day in day out some people get up at six o'clock in the morning and don't get off this computer until midnight man like this isn't that so if you're doing that for the wrong reason man then you need to just stop doing music focus in on what y'all really doing this for and what do y'all want to really become out of this if you want to start making content for music go do that now you can do that and still chase placements don't sit in your room trying to work with one artist and waste years of your career trying to chase that one artist do something else and then and you know try to try to work towards the artist like try to get in the right rooms try to get around the right producers try to meet a and r's that maybe got a connection with them but don't waste years of your career trying to chase one person in the world to get a song with them it it'll make you discouraged it'll it'll make you question why you still doing music like it'll make you think about a lot of things that you don't even have to be thinking about if you were doing other things music related don't do it chasing placements is overrated i'm telling you you can be a very successful producer by doing other things and trying to chase the placement at the same time put the work in on yourself as a musician all of you guys are talented all of you guys are smart all of you guys have the talent and the knowledge to be great so go do it don't just settle in on getting placements this this game of being in the industry and you know wait until your next song wait until your next chair it's not a game that you want to play you want to be doing other things other than that and i'm telling you just think about what i talked about today and really take that in and focus on being the greatest musician that you can be all around instead of just worrying about album placement or something like that because i promise you guys when you actually bring your ideas to life and you start executing them Y'all will be better producers and y'all will be bigger than what you are today and what you were yesterday. So, you know, blessings, man. Happy Saturday. It's Aunt Chamberlain once again, just talking to my guys, man. I appreciate y'all and I love you. I'll see y'all next week.